Welcome to the races, the Rock Bottom Chuck Wagon Races. The 2018 Rock Bottom Chuck Wagon Races mark the 12th year the Fowler family has hosted the annual festivities held Memorial Day weekend. Just south of Branson sits the Fowler's beef cattle operation, nestled in the rolling Ozark Hills of Northwest Arkansas. 12 years ago, a friend of ours, he'd been coming out here and he kept saying, man, this is a perfect place to have a chuck wagon race. We kind of laughed it off a couple times and I guess persistence paid off. We thought we'd go out on a limb and try it and uh, we've been doing it ever since. That weekend, we'll usually have 3,000, 4,000, sometimes up to 5,000 people come through this deal every, every year. So there's no shortage of new friends to meet or people to talk to. And you're gonna leave here with a story or two, I promise you. There is people that come out, they bring their trailers, they set up their tents, camp with us all weekend, walk through our vendors. We got two or three rows of vendors, some Western, some art. Um, several to choose from, so uh, you don't have to be in the equine deal to come out and have a good time here at this event. If you like camping, anything like that, you're sure to have a good time. So what is a chuck wagon race? I had an idea, but seeing it firsthand is a must. Ricky Crabtree heads up the chuck wagon races at Rock Bottom, serves as the resident expert, and said he has racers from Indiana, South Carolina, Kansas, Missouri, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. All of our races are a three-man crew. You have a driver, a cook, and an outrider. The driver sits in the wagon. The cook is at the back of the wagon with a blanket that we call a bedroll. The outrider has a box, which they call the stove. When the starter announces, cooks load your wagon, the cook throws the bedroll in the back, runs around to the front, and jumps in the wagon. When the gun fires, the outrider can load the stove into the wagon, and the team can leave. You're running the clock, but you're running everybody else. Your outrider has to pass the wagon and ahead of your horses in order to receive a time. Chuck wagon divisions include 46-inch pony rubber tire land rush, four up mules, big mules, buckboard, classic, and mini classic. Back in 2007, the Rock Bottom races had 38 teams. This year, they have 118. Ricky attributes the growth and success of the races to? Number one and foremost is the Fowler family. It's the way everybody's treated up here. And you can talk to any racer out there and they'll tell you the same thing. The weekend has evolved to incorporate much more than just the chuck wagon race. Next to Clinton, this is the biggest race in the state of Arkansas, bar none. When we was association racing, we was up and coming, but since we have gone outlaw, we have made a name for ourselves. The Rock Bottom Chuck Wagon Races is only a five-day event, and the Fowlers may spend a good portion of their time getting ready for the holiday weekend. The entire weekend, we will have an all-family rodeo that kind of kicks things off on Wednesday. Uh, then uh, we have an ACA or an ARA rodeo on Thursday and Friday night. Saturday is our big draw. We got a ranch rodeo that is, uh, it gets pretty wild, pretty western. If you're into the ranch rodeo deals, you sure don't want to miss it out on that. Uh, we raced chuck wagons on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, last year we started having an all girls rodeo on Sunday and had quite a bit of success with that. That's continued to be an annual event here now, the second year we've had it. Uh, there's trail riding, we got team ropings, barrel racings, any kind of equine event, we probably got it going on that week. So if you are an equine enthusiast, love this sport, horse events, we do recommend you come out and check it out because we got something you'll like. But their main focus the other 360 days is the farm. This is a cow calf operation with hay production. We're running probably 250 cows on this place. It's a, It kind of turns into a job getting ready for it because we've moved the cows off of it and opened it up to the public. It's quite a bit of work and uh, without the family and the staff we've got, it'd be hard to do it. There was another chuck wagon race actually on Memorial Day weekend and by them dropping out, allowed us to grab Memorial Day weekend up and uh, we're not letting it go. So every year on Memorial Day weekend, uh, make plans to come here and spend your weekend with us.